Hello everybody and welcome back to Surfhack Collectibles. Thank you for joining us here for another installment in our must has video series. This series focuses on pop culture related collectibles that we believe have long term investment potential. Today we'll be taking a look at some WADA certified video games for the PlayStation 1. Now if you've been following the auction market for certified video games for the last two years, you know that in the last six months, the last four to six months, you've seen the prices for PlayStation 1 games in high grade just go through the roof. That's because a lot of collectors and investors are starting to realize what some long-term collectors have known for many, many years, and that is PlayStation 1 games are very, very difficult to get in high grade. If there's one crack on those cases, you're not getting above a 9. So a lot of those games and those fragile jewel cases the PlayStation 1 games came in, a lot of them have cracks, a lot of them have chips, so they're not getting above a 9. And if you're not getting a 9, 4, 9, 6, 9, 8 in these more modern release games, you know, this is not an investment grade for these video games. So you want to stay 9, 2, 9, 4, 9, 6, and 9, 8 in that range, depending upon the game, depending upon how many have been graded. But those are the investment grades for those games. So you do not want any chips or cracks in those cases. Also, those jewel cases have very sharp corners. They would poke through those seals pretty easily, poke through the cellophane. So you have corner pokes, you have, uh, you know, abrasion scuffs and tears on that cellophane. You're going to knock down the seal rating on those as well. So you're not going to get the A++ rating or the A++ rating that's important for an investment grade game. So PlayStation 1 games are very, very tough to get in high grade and high seal grade. You're going to see a ton more Nintendo games graded in high grade with high seal grades than you'll ever see for PlayStation. PlayStation games are very, very tough. PlayStation 1 games, that is, because those jewel cases, super fragile, those cellophane seals, they get damaged, they get scuffed, they get torn over time. Very, very tough at this day and age to get those in high grade. So, like I said, if you've been watching the auction market for the last few years, and the last couple months, you've seen those games just skyrocket in price. So today, we have five must-have PlayStation 1 games certified by WADA Games in high grade or investment grade that we think you guys need to consider for your long-term investment portfolio. So we have five games. We're going to go ahead and present them in order of ascending value. Let's go ahead and get started with our first game. Our first game today is Silent Bomber. This came out in 2000. Now, only two of these have come to market in the last two years. This game has always been known as a rare or more scarce game for the PlayStation. This game is not easy to find in sealed quality. Now, as you can tell, this game here is an 8.5A. This game does have a small crack on it, but since only two have come to auction in the last couple years, and you never see this game come up sealed. Like I said, this has always been considered a rare game. An 8.5 in this game is still a good investment grade. Some of these games that you don't see, some of these games that have always been considered rare and coveted by collectors, it's okay to get those almost in any grade you can find because they are so scarce. An 8.5 is probably as low as you want to go on this one. We have seen one above a 9 come to auction as well. So 8.5 is the lowest you want to go. If you can get a higher grade, great. But this is a really tough game to get. This game here in any grade, sealed, no matter if it's cracked or busted up or holes in the cellophane, it's going to cost you over $1,000. So if you get a nice 8.5 like this, you can expect to pay a couple grand on this game. Of course, once you start getting higher grade, kick that value up a little bit more. But this is one we do think you need to consider for your long-term investment portfolio if you do ever see them come up in auction. Our second game today. Now this is one that you might think is a little more common than it is. Driver. Now this came out in 1999. Once again, this is one that in any grade, any sealed grade, you know, whether it's cracked or not, this is going to cost you over $1,000 in today's market, just ungraded, just a ungraded sealed game. It's going to cost you over $1,000. Now this game here, as you can see, this game is a 9.4A. This one here is going to cost you a couple grand in this particular grade. You know, these are very tough to get. We had three or four of these we picked up over the years. You know, you don't see these come up anymore. I think recently we've been checking and we've only seen one come up in the past three or four months sealed. I think it was on eBay. And, you know, I think it did have a crack in it, so we didn't bother purchasing that one. Because we do have a couple that we bought over the years that do have teeny cracks in them. This one here, no cracks, 9.4A. This is as this is a great grade on this game. You know, if you got a 9.2, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.4, 9.
9.6 or 9.8. This one, very good investment quality for this game. This is one you would think would be a little bit more common than it is. Very tough to find these. None have come to mark, uh, to the auction market in the last two years. So you do not see this one in the auction market. You rarely see these pop up on any kind of auction site on the internet, eBay, Craigslist, anything like that. So this one here, very tough to get in high grade. Our third game. Now this one you, you'll recognize. Metal Gear Solid. Now this one comes up quite frequently in auction. As you can see, this is 9.6 A++. This came out in 1998. Now, in January of this year, just a few weeks ago, a 9.8 grade sold for over $6,000. So this is a 9.6. In this game here, because you do see them quite often in auction, a 9.6 and 9.8 are the only two grades you wanna get in this particular game. But 9.6 in today's market, it's going to cost you about $3,000 or so, three to $4,000. A 9.8, you know, you're talking, once again, one just sold three weeks ago for over $6,000. It sold for $6,600, almost seven grand. A 9.8 is going to be very costly. Like I said, a lot of people think these games, because they're newer, still they're still 20 years old, but people think these are newer than the Nintendo games, you're going to find a lot more in high grade. That's completely incorrect. You're going, to, you're going to find a ton more in Nintendo games, a lot more Sega games in high grade, and you're going to find these. These jewel cases are very, very fragile. They crack, they chip, they poke holes through the cellophane. You're not going to get good grades. This one here, 9.6 is probably as low as you want to go on this one. 9.6, 9.8. This one here, great game to add to your collection, one that everybody knows, very popular, very heavily collected, and always coveted. So this is a great game to add to your long-term investment portfolio. Oh, now here's one that's very special. This is Siphon Filter 3, 2001. Now, as you can tell, this cover here is the American flag or the 9-11 cover. Now, these games were released by Sony to game stores in advance of the 9-11 attacks. They were meant to go on sale after that, after the attacks occurred, but because of the imagery on the cover, Sony actually requested those all those companies send those games back to be destroyed and the cover recreated. So this one here, all these copies were destroyed. Sony did distribute some of these American flag covers, the 9-11 covers, to their employees. They punched holes in the UPC code on the back so they couldn't be resold, but they did distribute these to their inter internal employees. These were not made available for retail. Rumor has it that a few did make it onto the shelf before Sony was able to contact all these dealers and pull them back to be replaced. So there may be a few out there that have not been punched. We have never seen any. They've all had the punch on the UPC code on the back. So these were all distributed to internal employees. But once again, this here cover was recalled. They were never meant to go to market. Very few of these exist on the market. So you can expect to pick up this game and any grade, ungraded, on, you, we see these pop up, ungraded, just busted up on the jewel cases. You know, cracks everywhere, spider webbing on the jewel cases from all the cracks, and they still sell for like one to $2,000. So in high grade, like this one here, this is a 9.2A. In a high grade like this, you would expect to pay three to $4,000. You know, once you start getting in the 9.6, 9.8 range, I don't think I've ever seen one in 9.8. But when you start getting into the 9.6 and 9.8 range, you can expect to pay closer to 10 grand on this one. Very tough, highly coveted, considered one of the keys for the PlayStation 1. So expect to pay up if you find this one, but one to definitely add to your collection if you do see one on the market. This one is very important in the video game industry, very important for collecting. This is one you want to add. Great, great game. And like I said, one of the keys to the PlayStation collection. PlayStation 1, that is. And our final game today is one that's Kind of blown up recently. Gran Turismo 2. Gran Turismo 1 is also blown up. Uh, Gran Turismo 2 here came out in 1999. There's only been a, about two of these in Gran Turismo 2, that is, that have come to market in the past two years, come to the auction block. And these games are highly coveted. A 9.8 just sold three weeks ago for about $4,000. And so the 9.6 is like this. You can expect to pay about two grand for we see these pop up very, very, very infrequently in 9.6 and 9.8. So expect to pay up, especially now since that auction occurred and kind of pushed the price up on the Gran Turismo franchise. But 9.8s, you're talking big money on those. 9.6s and Gran Turismo 2 like this, you're going to be paying, like I said, 
two to three thousand dollars in today's market but this is a game once again the gran turismo franchise very heavily collected this is a game that we do think is has a lot of legs going forward one that we do think you should need to consider for your long-term investment portfolio a 9.6 here very very hot game especially after the january heritage auction really push the price up on this particular franchise so there you have our five games for today's must-have video series please let us know what you think in the comment section below give us a thumbs up if you like this video as always please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you for joining us here at certified collectibles and we'll see you again next time